Hi, uh, welcome to the video today. Today we're going to be doing, among other things, sound effects from an 18 month old. But uh, I'm working on a P708 or a 2000 Mercury Cougar. And I guess we're going to do the uh, transmission ring sensor who stole Christmas. I am using this great example of a Grinch tree that my lovely sweetie has made. Show the tree up, it's pretty cool. Much more cooler than the car problem. And we see we have a little elf down here uh, tearing stuff up. Are you tearing stuff up, little buddy? Well, anyway, a P708 is a transmission rain sensor as it comes up in my particular uh, scanner. However, it's known as a... Boy, you're going to get us in trouble. It's known as a neutral safety switch as well. Basically, if you check engine lights coming on, you have erratic shifting behavior. This is usually your first culprit in a Ford Mercury or Mercury Cougar. And um, anyway, I have located the problem. I've already disassembled it. So basically, the video is going to jump from now. I'm going to put it on pause, walk outside, and I'm going to show you how to locate it, how I fix this particular one, and just wish you luck in the new year. Unless, of course, you're watching this three years from now, then wish you luck in that new year, and Grinch will still be cool, and Mercury Cougars will still be POSs. So, all right, we'll just go ahead and just see you on the flip side. Put that on pause, please. Okay, guys, so this is the transmission range sensor. Here's the old one. And this right here is where it's located. Uh, let's see if I can use this as a pointer. See where that's pointing to? And this right here is the wiring harness. I'll be going over. Now you notice how to take off the water outlets. Um, that's actually your thermostat that sits there. That's one of my crazy dogs. What's wrong, Molly? Where's Biddy at? Biddy. Ah, oh, don't worry about the other dog. Okay, so back to the rain sensor. How I got to it was I take I've taken off the battery, removed the battery tray. Hey, please be quiet for the video. We are videotaping. All right, crazy dog. Um. All right. So anyway, I took the battery out, took the tray out, the air breather cover, and put the the hoses out. Clean access. When you go to install this, if you'll notice. It kind of sits like this. Put the car in neutral and put the emergency brake on. And then slide this off. Your other one will come just like this with no problem. It's already set up for neutral. So you just slide it back on. It says you need a special tool. You really don't. It just slides on and off. Once you put it back on, go ahead and slip the car back in reverse. Check, make sure you got reverse lights and you should be lined up just fine. All right, now here's what actually happens with these. This is why they go bad. Can you see that? Hold on, maybe I can get a better image. I'm trying to see. Sorry, guys. Dang it. Alright, hold on. Maybe I can do it like this. Hate to make you do it. There you go. Can you see where it's burned out? Well, if you notice, it is burned out right there. And that's the ground and the negative to this supply. That's where it's getting its power at. And that's where it's grounding at. So, apparently it erodes. And the problem travels past that. Here's the actual wiring harness. As you see, it is burned out in the same exact spot. Except new twist, this got so hot, I don't know if you can really tell, I'm going to try to put my finger on it. Yeah, here it is. You see this, this wire right here? It's supposed to be white with a tan stripe. It's actually gotten so hot that the casing of the wire has actually melted off of it. Anyway, let me tell you how I fix this. The part cost $78. However, I went to the local pick apart. I pulled one off a of Mercury Cougar for $2.26. Alright, just spliced the six wires together, no problem. And then I turned around and went to O'Reilly's. And you're, the only way you're going to find the, 
the uh, train the transmission rain sensor you have to ask for a neutral safety switch so there you have it you just uh, rewire the wiring harness we'll look and make sure it's not burned up like this one if you see the burn marks on it trash it go ahead and put get another one to put on it get your new transmission rain sensor um, as far as taking it out and putting it back in really I started with this front hose right here released it gave me enough room to be able to pick it up a little bit to access the access this this one right here squeezed it pulled it and you know just did all three of them like that another key note on how I done this was I separated the uh, the little uh, where's it at where's it at ah oh, here it is see the housing that holds the thermostat I went ahead and separated it to make it more negotiable to get in and out all right well good luck guys and good luck on your p708 hope it all works out for you thank you